Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Today we are doing in the coordinate geometry how to find the equation of perpendicular bisector. The perpendicular bisector means we should have first of all one line and this line will be like intersecting uh, another line possible like this, maybe like this. But most important part is what? That this line, this line, this, this the distance between this A, if this point is A and this point is B, and this point should be M. Like the distance between AM and MB should be same. It means the M is the midpoint of AB. That's why we say the bisector means a line which divide uh, another line with two equal parts. Bisector means two equal parts. And the perpendicular means we are talking about 90 degree. 90 degree is here. This is here. And for this purpose, remember the option is what? For the gradient, this M1 in the gradient of uh, like A is M2. The perpendicular means the M1 multiplied by M2 will be equals to minus 1 because perpendicular. And when you want to find the equation of a line, so it means we should have the gradient and a coordinate. So y minus y1 is equals to m x minus x1. So first of all, what we have to do actually, we have to step number one, we can write. We always need uh, like the midpoint. The midpoint is very important because the line, the yellow line is passing through the midpoint. So we need to find the midpoint. If we do not have, we need to find a midpoint of AB. And step number two, when you have the midpoint means you have the coordinates of both X and Y. Step number two, what you need, you need the gradient, gradient of AB or the gradient of this line because we know the perpendicular means the gradient of M1 into M2 is equal to minus one. So gradient of a b or given line so when you have this thing you can find uh, like step number three you can use uh, like the midpoint x y and the gradient to find the equation y minus y1 is equals to m x minus x1 so the main important thing is for the bisector bisector is a midpoint so for that purpose i have question number one from exercise 7.7 uh, let's see the first question number one part a a and b like we need to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of a b perpendicular bisector of a b so it means what's the first step when a is given b is given we have to find the midpoint and the midpoint formula is midpoint formula is like we write the formula like in two ways but i'm very simple a and b so one plus three divided like formula is x1 plus x2 divided by two and y1 plus y2 divided by two this is the formula to find the midpoint so midpoint of a b is coming now one plus three divided by two and uh, 2 plus 4 divided by 2. So it's coming, the midpoint is coming. 4 upon 2 is 2, and 6 upon 2 is 3. So midpoint is 3. And we also need to find the gradient of this line. Okay, so the gradient of AB is coming. The formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, the gradient formula. And the gradient will be 4 minus 2 and 3 minus 1. So is coming 2 upon 2 is coming 1. So the gradient M1, like we have this like two points A and second point is B and a line which we required the 90 degree is here and we this is M1, A is 1. And the midpoint is coming 2 comma 3 and we need the m2 so m2 will be definitely the reciprocal we know the m1 multiplied by m2 is equals to minus 1 m1 is 1 so m2 will be definitely only 
minus 1. So we have minus 1. So nothing we required, nothing now. We just required a coordinate and the uh, gradient. So we can find the equation y minus y1 is equals to m x minus x1. y minus y1 means p. m is minus 1. x is here and minus is 2. So y minus 3 is equals to minus x and minus minus is plus 2. So y, you can write x here or x plus y is equals to, you can write like there is no problem to write the equation in this form or y equals to m x plus c form, there is no problem. So this is a method in one example I have given. Uh, I can use uh, maybe any other example here. For example, I would be using one more example question number one part. I think so. D part I'm doing. Okay, in part D, what we need? We need the midpoint. The midpoint is four plus uh, like four minus two upon two and five plus three upon two. So the midpoint is coming two upon two is one and eight upon two is four and the gradient is coming gradient of like m1 of ab is coming 3 minus 5 and minus 2 minus 4 so is coming minus 2 upon minus 6 means it's coming 1 upon 3 okay so m2 will be definitely only minus 3 so now we have minus 3 and the coordinate like 1 4 we can find the equation y minus y1 is 4 m is minus 3 x minus is 1 so y minus 4 is equals to minus 3x plus 3 and finally the y or you can write 3x plus y and is equals to 7 and we have done it so this is a way like a very simple how we can find the equation of perpendicular bisector by using this example of exercise 7.7 .7, question number one two parts in the next video, I will be covering like the other questions of exercise 7.7. .7. I hope that this video is useful for you. If you think yes, please like my video, subscribe my channel. And thank you so much and have a nice day.